Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to be talking about another topic of the Rust book that is called Assertion or Assert um, Macro. So let's go to the screen and I will show you there. So as you can see here that I'm present in the Visual Studio Code and inside this Visual Studio Code what I need to do, I need to create another directory by the name of let's say Cargo New 24th Assert in the name of the package as Assert. Okay. So now if I open this, you can see here assert source and main.rs. So now let's first of all define that what the assert is. So assert itself is a macro. Assert is a macro. If we are not aware of the macro, I will show you in a little bit time. Like uh, let me just first of all ignore it that what the macro uh, what the macro is. But first of all, the assert is a macro, and then let's write um, assert is used for debugging uh, debugging and testing and whenever whenever you want to like uh, write the expression and based and based on that expression based on that expression Mm, evaluates, evaluates the true and false condition okay so yeah this is what the macro is in which you will have to like um, uh, it will allow you to pass just uh, an expression and based on this expression it will uh, decide that whether it is true or false so now let's take a look at what the macro is so this is the article that you can check this out yeah, although this is a detailed article but i'm not going to be uh, going deep dive into it like there are multiple type of macros but now let's just understand that rust has excellent support for macros macros enable you to write code that writes other code okay so it writes um, it enable you to write code that writes other code so just like you can write it like a print line so the print line is also a macro in which you will write the code but that code is also written previously right so this is called a meta programming so it will allow you to write code just like the print statement that writes other code that is already written and that the macro is already defined and that is called the meta programming macros provide you the functionality similar to functions okay it is also uh, like the function uh, like uh, similar to functions but without the runtime cost there is some compile time low cost however since macros are expanded during compile time so uh, i'll apply to okay so you just need to understand that these are the f uh, these are similar to functions but you don't need to define uh, like the functions can be defined but this is the uh, macro that is not defined you uh, this is like stored in the rust programming language these are the default macros that are stored already so you don't need to write the code for it specifically instead you ne just need to define the macro like it could be print line it could be assert so yeah these are all the macros there are a list of macros that you can check it out in which you don't need to write the code for them specifically instead you just need to define that macro and it will do the functionality according to their uh, like use case that what their fun what their functionality is so the print line functionality is, is to print the data assert is to basically check the expression that whether it is true or false so let's take a look at uh, how the assert will work so let's write fn and now let's write x is equal to 100 and then the y let sorry let y is equal to 200 okay so yeah after that let's write assert so this is the macro assert and let's part, uh, pass exclamation mark also and now let's write x plus y is equal to 300 okay this is the test expression that i'm writing now x plus y plus y is not equal to 500 i will tell you in a little bit but first of all let's write a print statement the program is running normally by making by giving okay x plus y 
So what does this mean? Basically, this means that these are the two variables that I have declared or written here. After that, this is the test expression that is basically checking that whether the x plus y is equal to 300. So if it is equal to 300, then it will run this print statement okay so if these two are equal to uh, this if this thing uh, is equal to like 300 then it will print this print statement if it is not equal to 300 then it will give this false statement okay so this is a two way uh, like process in which if the condition is true here if the x plus y is equal to 300 then it will execute this print statement if it is not equal to 300, then it will give this uh, false statement. So let's run this code in order to show you like 24 assert cargo run. Now you can see here the program is running normally by giving 300. Why? Because the x plus y is equal to 300. But let's see if I change this like 100 to 200 then obviously it have uh, it has to give me the error and the error is this one okay sorry it needs to like for not equal to 300 it needs to like this okay you can see here x plus y is not equal to 300 because x x is 200 y is 200 and that becomes 400 that's the reason that it is showing me the message that x plus y is not equal to 300 it is equal to 400 okay so if i write again now you will see the message the program is running normally by giving 300 okay so this is just for the like fast checking in which you want to just test something you don't need to write like uh, the if statements or multiple conditions instead you just need to write this assert macro in order to give the uh, like the test expression and it will give you the result based on the output that whether it is true uh, whether it is true or whether it is false okay so from this point i hope you understood that what the macro is uh, what the assert is and how it solved the problem of debugging while testing the application and it helps you to write the expression in order to uh, evaluate the true and false uh, condition that whether the uh, whether the result is true or whether the result is false so yeah that's all about it and if you want to write uh, like uh, read the detail uh, like of this macro you can read this and i will be covering this macro in the uh, upcoming video so don't worry about it so I hope you understood and liked this video. So if you liked it, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, then ask those questions in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer all of them. So till then, goodbye.